Welcome back, welcome back. We're here with another episode of our... That was loud. There's like a storm going on right now, and also, my game just crashed. I'll be right back. Okay. Um... Let me try this again. Uh, that's a fun start to the episode. Uh, <laughs> I did put Gallade on the team. This is what I did before I started the episode. Uh, I put Gallade on the team. I left the Pokemon Center and I was going to start moving towards this next part of the game. Right up here. Uh, we have to go talk to this guy about Mega Evolution or something like that. That thunder was crazy. We have a storm going on up here in uh, Massachusetts, Northeast of the US. Uh, it's wow. That was a lot. That was crazy. Um, the team right now is I feel like it's a little over leveled, but I mean, I feel like I've been in shambles pretty much this whole playthrough, so it's probably smart of me to be a tiny bit over leveled. Uh, so let's talk to these people, see what's going on here. So you must be a Chibi Brucey then. Sycamore told me you would be coming. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru, I guess you could say. I'm an acquaintance of his. Oh, but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. Now, will you come here for a moment? Sure. I definitely paraphrased. Hmm, only one of you. I thought he gave five kids Pokedex. Is there anyone else with you? Ah, they'll be here in a second, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, call me Mega Evolution Guru. Yeah, 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 yeah. My name's Trevor, and I'm Lil H. What do you got for me? What is this now? You were the one who found the intriguing stone? Uh, it was given to me. What? Uh, it was you who found it, right, Lil H? If I said the other thing, they act differently. Oh, he's very, he's very, uh... He's very not smart. Uh, he forgets things. He was just forgetting the same thing about the master, the guru guy, whatever. All right. Mates, Shiloh City. That is me. Lucario's the Pokeball, but it's really happy to see you. We should go see what's going on, too. All right. What's going on here? I led with uh, Drapion. Drapion's the lowest level right now, so I want to get him leveled up. Shut off the experience share. So the team should be okay. A lot of you guys did mention I did find the Deep Sea Tooth uh, during Reflection Cave, which I didn't notice. I didn't really look through my items yet. I probably should double check what I got for items. But it's a Timid Nature Clam Pearl, which is better for the Gorbis instead of the Huntail, which the Huntail is the Deep Sea Tooth and the Deep Sea Scale is the Gorbis. So if I I would prefer to evolve into a Gorbis. So I'm going to hold off on evolving that. I got a Kingdra. I don't really think I'm stressing about adding a different water type to the team at the moment. Uh, but everyone pretty much agreed. I don't think a single person said a different team composition other than swapping Glade on the team for Behem. So I think it's actually going to be really good. Uh, it gives me a fighting resist other than Driftlim's a good fighting answer as well, but a lot of fighting types have rock coverage. So what's going on here? Am I supposed to like talk to you? I think we have to fight, right? I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, but a lot of rock type coverage is on fighting type Pokemon as well. So I feel like Glade will be a lot better for it because I can switch in to a fighting type and resist it with a psychic typing and then also resist dark, uh, dark is neutral and rock is resisted. So it's a really good combination. Fighting Psychic type is very good. And you have a Perugly. And I'm leading with Driftlum, which is actually, I thought I lived. Oh, you know what? I didn't do it over again. Perugly. I'm going to go on Artemis. You, you do not click a fighting move here. You do not click Rock Smash when there's a Ghost type in front of you. Hypnosis. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I got the Rocky Helmet. I'm not too worried about anything you click. Uh, I'm gonna click Bulldoze whenever I wake up. You have six mons. Round. It's resisted. It does nothing. It's a critical hit and did nine damage. Alright. Artemis, we're gonna have to wake up. Fan attack? Oh, please click a fan. Keep clicking that. You're gonna take more damage than me. Alright, wake up. Get the Bulldoze. Good damage. Good damage. I'm just gonna go for a bite here. It'll do more damage to Bulldoze and should get the KO. Okay. This Mega Tyranitar is going to be... I, I'm not going to say this. Last time I... Every time I say, like, this is going to be the key to the win of this whole playthrough. Wait, wait, wait. That's that's an impersonation of myself. Every time I say that, it dies. So I'm just going to not... Just not say that. Okay. I already... Mm. i do it with Venusaur. Do I Bulldoze this? I think I Bulldoze it. Slow it down for whatever I send in next. Toxic. Mm. 
I don't like Toxic at all. Um, I'm gonna go for a, I'm gonna go for a Rock Slide. Get as much damage off as I can. This two shot that will. Oh, we get the flinch. Beautiful. Beautiful. Go for another Rock Slide. We outspeed. Okay, and this gets the kill. Mega Venusaur is a huge threat. So let's get you out of there. Okay. Little fruit fly flying around. Okay, I'm taking a lot of toxic damage now, so I have to switch out. Aegis Slash. Um, you could have like Sacred Sword or something like that, but you could also have a like Shadow Ball. I don't think you would click Shadow Ball right here, but you would have like. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Drifflin. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to outplay this. He does have a lot of fighting coverage moves. He has Sacred Sword. I think it's close combat. Iron Head. I mean that works too. It's kind of expected. Um. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for a Hex. Just you don't you don't switch forms. He stays in the defensive form, so his attack isn't that crazy strong. I'm gonna click Hex. Sunny Day. Sunny Day Iron Head. Okay, I don't know what else you're going to have, so I'm just going to click Hex again. Power Trick. That? He has Chlorophyll? He outspeeds in the sun. Or he has Prankster. Um, Either way, I'm extremely terrified right now. Uh, Iron Head is one of your moves. I don't know what else you have. I want to go into Salty, but you have the sun up, so I'm not going to do that much damage with Brine. Although it's doubled because of the... Lower than half health. And if you go for Iron Head, it's resisted. Power Trick again. Okay, that's actually best case scenario. And I'm just going to go for Brine. Iron Head again. Eat that up. My original strategy was go into the Ghost type on the hopefully fighting move. Be immune. And then he, if he had a Ghost move, I would have switched back into Diggersby. But he would click Iron Head, which is a good middle ground. And I didn't want to risk anything. Gothitelle. Okay. Um, I would love to go into Waffles on this. But... I feel like that's a terrible idea. I really need to get experience on Waffles. I forgot I should have grinded that up in between. Let's go into Artemis. I'll outspeed and bite should KO. You want the Toxic. The Toxic is reset, so I won't do too much. Tickle. Mm, that's a pain. That's annoying. We should get one bite off here, though, no problem. I would love to get Regenerator on a Pokemon. Regenerator is an ability that gives you, I think, 25% of your health every time you switch out. Oh. Raised your speed, but I got the flinch. Okay. Um, I need to switch out, man. Your speed raised. I'm going to go back into Salty. <laughs> it's good damage, though. That was a lot of damage. Brian will kill from here. Giga Impact. Oh my god, I could have stayed in. Why do you have Giga Impact? That's a crit. Brian. Must recharge. Brian gets the KO. Okay, we really gotta be way I gotta be way more like strategic about these battles now. Arnest is level 38. Uh a Selgor? Kind of a bubble beam. Me first, okay. Go for bubble beam. It's gonna do nothing. I have four times resist that, buddy. Speed drop would be immaculate right now. Just go for another bubble beam. Rain dance? Thank you. <laughs> okay, I hope your last mon doesn't lose the water. Easy. 30 seconds. Yeah, man, I can't imagine. All these important battles I've had to do, all the trainers I've had to fight. I can't imagine getting through. Oh, gosh. That's unfortunate for you. I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't imagine going through this portion of the game and staying with my whole team under level 34. I feel like it'd be, like, impossible. Like, I'd have to you have to keep switching out your Pokemon and keep fighting Pokemon that are, over, like, level 34 and up. Or around level 34. And, like, the amount of experience you get, it's just... It doesn't seem realistic. Okay. Challenge Karina. Uh, this is the gym. We have to ride around on skates and whatnot. 
It's one we can show mastery as a trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Uh, uh. All right. Can I go heal up? My guys are pretty weak right now and toxic, which I don't like. I do not like any of that. Uh, I'm going to heal up. And I'm going to go straight to the gym. I'm going to do it. Hopefully, it seems like the weather is kind of calming down. It looks like the little storm front we had kind of passed. So, hoping we don't get anything else crazy going on. Okay. Heal you up. Um, I should check Gallade's TM selection. See if there's anything I could teach him. Do we got anything good? Actually, let me look at items in general. The deep sea... Oh, I do have the deep sea scale. It was the scale, not the tooth. Everyone was saying they thought it was the tooth I grabbed. Also, I grabbed that too. Oh, I have both. Ooh. All right, TMs. Can teach Bulldoze to Custap. Bulldoze is such a good move. Ground coverage, very good. The speed drop, very good. I've said a billion times when it comes to like my favorite types of moves. Those are those are the ones. Okay. Um, Rock Tomb, Poison Jab. I could teach that to Waffles. I could teach it to Galate as well. Get rid of Flash. I can get that off of you. <laughs> I tried that in the last gym. I forgot about that. Uh, Roost. Oh, different. Can't learn Roost. Oh, that stinks. Mm, all right. Well, I think that's good. Let's go to the gym, which I believe is over here. It is. Okay. All right. I'm going to lead with Waffles, the Drapion. Because I really want to level him up and I need to switch train him. It's the only way I'm getting experience on him right now. If I feel like I'm, uh, you know, over leveled or under leveled and whatnot, I'll put the experience chair back on at that point. But I think right now I'm good. I think the, I think the levels are kind of on par. Landris. Oh, God. Oh. This isn't fun. Unnerve. Landris. Going to Salty. It's only level 32, so like I do feel like my team's level 37, 38. I do feel overleveled, but that's it, man. This just might, oh, might be one of those situations where you just don't really have an option. Uh, I'm going to bubble beam. I should out speed. Yep. I don't think this one shots. Sturdy. Okay, race this. Oh, and he missed. Man, that whole combination right there could have gone terribly. That could have gone so bad. If that raised his speed, that berry, and he had like Earthquake, he was like Rock Slide, Earthquake, Sword Stance, I could have just gone so wept. Absolutely swept. And this guy's level 35. Yeah, so I mean, I think we're good. I think we're good on the levels. I'm going to try to use, you know, my team, try to balance out the levels and whatnot, but. Not that simple. Let's go for the bullet seed. Let's go. Get all five hits. We already know it's going to happen. Come on. Oh, four. Nice. Acrobatics. Ow. I need to remember acrobatics will do more damage if he loses his item. So if he's holding an item right now, which he should be. Only two hits there. If it's a berry and he consumes it right here, I'm going to have to switch out. Okay, nothing. Another gust. Acrobatics. We should still live this. Easy. That did 30 damage. Does this KO? Yes. Okay. Hey, he didn't lose his item. Acrobatics does double the damage if you're not holding an item, if you didn't know that. Okay, you have to battle three trainers in here, I believe. So let me heal up. Hyper potion on you. And keep the grind going. Come on, get over here. Bro, I'm trying to fight you. I'm trying to chase people down in here. It's ridiculous. What kind of concept for a gym is this? Bahim! <gasps> Back for revenge. But you had hidden power. You did have hidden power. I remember that. 
Um, and mostly just psychic move though. Do I just knock off? I feel like that's a horrible risk for no reason. I'm gonna go on Artemis. I feel like that's a zero value risk. There's no point. I'm not gonna do enough damage to KO. But I just switch out. Giga Impact? Wait, I, I was sitting here saying like, I know what moves you had. It's not about that. TMs are involved. I need to stop thinking like that. I play Pokemon all day long on stream. I gotta stop thinking like that. Basculin, you pretty much only have water moves. Um, I mean, I don't really switch into this great, so I'm just gonna bulldoze. Ace Beam. Wow, I actually was thinking about going into Drifflin too. Crits me with the bulldoze, that's not fun. I am with the uh, Ice Beam. Oh, you have Contrary. That's fine, you die. Aqua Jet, we eat it up. We eat it up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Switch training is very hard without the... Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Without a... Uh, with it on set mode. Because usually in between each Pokemon, I can switch back to the first guy. Switch out. Switch back in. Switch out. Eh, 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 eh. But I can't do that right now. So it makes it much more difficile. Unnerve. Okay, we're going to Drift Blim on this. Because I four times resist Bug and I res resist Grass. So you can't do nada. Bug Bite. We bite that up. No damage. That was a critical hit, though. I was going to say that did more than I thought it would. <laughs> Struggle bug? That's annoying. This still stab four times effective. I'm not worried about it. Oh god, what is this gonna do? Oh, heal. Okay, if you struggle bug again. Okay, I think we KO. I think we KO. Let's get it, baby. Also, while we're doing this little bit of grinding, um today, while I was on stream, I got a, a message on Twitter from... I'm going to keep Poison Jab. I got a message on Twitter from somebody, and they were asking if I'd be interested in promoting a coffee company. Which, if you guys know, I already mentioned it even through here. I already have an affiliate code with a coffee company. It's just an affiliate code. It's not like a contract or nothing like that. It's with a uh, Jabby Coffee, which is a coffee extract. So it's better for, like, making iced coffee. Pretty much what it's all it's for. And I love iced coffee, so it's... I really do like having it and I've been happy with Javi the whole time I've been using it but he hit me up for more of a it's more like a traditional coffee company they have you know whole bean and ground coffee and they have cold brew and k-cups and they even have hot chocolate and they do like a whole array of stuff it's like a full you know more full-blown company for it so hit me up asked if I'd be interested in something like that and I was like heck yeah I would love that so more details to come but if you guys like coffee and you like me uh this is gonna be the first time i really have like a legitimate partnership with a company and some sort of you know legit sponsor type opportunity so when it does get announced um obviously i'll let you guys know it'll be a huge huge help to me if you guys support it um i feel very weird even saying that I'm not used to this whole system of you know mm, seeking not used to this whole system of, you know, promoting and having sponsors and whatnot, but I've been wanting it for a very, very long time. Especially coffee is one of the first things I've always said I wanted. Coffee, a snack, something like these bad Larry's sour strips. It would, that'd probably be a horrible thing for me because I would eat so much candy and it's so bad to eat that much. Candy's delicious, but you shouldn't eat that much. And I would eat so much. So I don't really know if I'd want something like that, but uh, coffee candy, any sort of little snack, which also this coffee company I've seen, they have like cashews and like nuts, you know, that are seasoned and made there, however, roasted, however the hell they roast it. And it looked really cool overall. So I'm really excited for this opportunity. So like I said, you guys will be seeing and hearing more about it when I see and hear more about it. All right. Supersonic Ice Beam Water Pulse. Kind of annoying. It's going to cost that. Supersonic's been probably the most annoying thing this thing's done to me this whole time. Mega Horn. You click Mega Horn on that one. Of course you do. 
Um, I'm going to go for the Bulldoze. I'm already faster than you. Okay, that's surprising. I'll be honest. Critical hit. Huge. Huge. Supersonic. You are three for three with Supersonics. It's fine. 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 What is my special defense? Because I ate that attack up. 75. What is it on you? 45. Okay, I'm not going to switch you in. Um, and I'm not risking this confusion. I need to be very safe in this playthrough. Very, very safe. Mega Horn again. Okay, and Twister. Okay. Oh my gosh, man. Clef Key comes out. Uh... I'm going to go into Waffles because Klefki's not very strong. So even if he does click an attack here, it's not going to probably be that bad. Flash can. I should still eat this up, honestly. All right, I'll be honest. I need that up as well as I thought I would. But that's not that bad. All right, I'm going to zero. Swap out of this. I need the switch training on Waffles. And if it's going to be risky, so be it for the content, right? That's what we say around here. 94 down to 67. Tank that. Call the bulldoze. Stab super effective bulldoze. Good damage. Torment. So I can't click that again. Not bad play. Go for the rock too. Slow you down again. Draining kiss. 67 down to 49. Okay. We're good. We're good. We get the KO. Now, the only downside is I can't switch Drapion back in because if that Sinchino clicks an attack, which it's going to, one of them being U-turn, I'll be wrecked. So let's go into Artemis, my wall of walls with the Brocky helmet. Click Tail Slap. It would make me so happy. Fling. You flung what at me? Something that did one damage. Okay. Bullet Seed. I should have. Should have bulldozed. Should have bulldozed. I don't want to have to deal with a second attack. No, it was going to kill. Knew it wasn't going to kill. I knew this was going to bullet C2, which is why I didn't switch into this event uh, initially, but my physical defense is so ridiculous. I'm not even that worried about it. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's going to be a long episode. Long episode, and it's going to be for, what is it, tomorrow, Wednesday. Wednesday upload. It's going to be a long one. All right. Um, hop onto this bad boy. Oh, oh, you're right here. You're right here. Um, I'm going to go heal up first. I'm not going into this battle unhealed. Not happening. Okay. Over here, over here. And I, I really should level up Drapion a little bit. You know what? We're going to wrap this episode up. I'm going to level up Drapion. I'm going to stop playing so recklessly like I have been. I'm going to level up Drapion off stream. Game's like level 35, 34. Um, maybe I'll get a couple levels on Drift Bloom as well. That's going to be off screen just grinding against wild Pokemon. So it's going to take forever. So I'll do that in between and we'll start the next episode off with the next gym leader okay i'm not trying to lose this run i want to win this breeze lock but thank you guys for coming through please leave a like and a comment if you guys share this with some people share it on your facebook whatever it might be it'll help me a ton so i would greatly appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one peace out